Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and this is just a quick update for those of you that have been concerned about the Windows print nightmare, the print spooler problem, which has been a vulnerability in Windows 10 for a little while now, and it seems that Microsoft have actually patched it properly this time. Well, pretty much mostly patched it. So there has been a new update, which is rolled out today on Patch Tuesday, which is generally the second Tuesday of the month, and this one is actually fixed, seemingly, the print spooler issue, and the other vulnerabilities. Also, it has patched another whole bunch of vulnerabilities which have not been yet disclosed, so plenty of zero-day fixes, lots of other tiny fixes, and a few other bits and pieces. So my advice is, first thing to do, head over to Windows Update and update your system. Now, the knowledge base, or the update which we want, will show you on the screen right now. So if you go into your Windows Update at the moment, you'll see that there's an update available, and the one that you're looking for is this one here, which is KB500-4237. Now, depending on which version of Windows you're running, your knowledge base update may be a slightly different number. There will be some links in the video description, and also we'll take a look shortly on the site over at bleepingcomputer.com, and we'll look through some of the other bits which have happened. Depending on which version of Windows on, like I said, if you're on the latest three, I believe it is, then this is the knowledge base article you want, and to be honest with you, I would say realistically, if you are a Windows 10 user, it's probably best to stay as updated as you possibly can. But for those of you that are running slightly older Windows versions, don't worry, you haven't been left out in the cold. Microsoft have released updates for that as well. Again, we'll show you those shortly. So now we're gonna take a look at an article from bleepingcomputer.com uh, by Lawrence Abrams. Fantastic guy, does a lot of work behind the scenes on Windows stuff. So definitely, if you're not already uh, bookmarked this page, there'll be links in the video description so you can find out more for yourself. So as you can see, uh, today is Microsoft's July 2021 Patch Tuesday, and it comes with fixes for nine zero-day vulnerabilities, and a total of 117 flaws. So Windows admins will be pulling their hair out as they scramble to get devices patched and secured. Hence why I have no hair. So of the 117 vulnerabilities, 44 are remote code execution, 32 are elevation of privilege, and 14 are information disclosure, 12 are denial of service, and eight are security feature bypass, and seven of them are spoofing vulnerabilities. So obviously, if you haven't updated already, do that now. Even while you're watching this, just open up another tab, click on start, go to settings, click on the cog, then head over to Windows Update. I strongly suggest you do that right now. So what does the patch actually secure? Well, there's actually a whole list. Again, you can go through the full report on the, the site itself, but you can see there's quite a few important, and we've got a few red ones there for critical. So it's definitely worth uh, patching your system as quickly as you can. Now, obviously, patching a system may introduce other instabilities, which you guess you really have to kind of weigh up the pros and cons. Do you want to be able to use your computer normally? i.e. for most of us, especially if you're working from home, printing is one of those things which we kind of take for granted. Obviously, if you don't print things out at home, then this isn't so much of a problem. But for those of us like me, I print out invoices, receipts, pretty much daily. It's a pain in the backside to keep on changing the services from disabled to enabled and disabling and all that kind of stuff. So definitely worth doing the update. Like I said, lots of things here. And also you can go through and find out the other updates for other Windows versions. So that's going to be pretty much it. Just a quick one, just to let you know that there is now a patch available, which does seem to put a rather large band-aid on the uh, gaping hole that was in Windows 10. Hopefully this video is useful to you. If it is, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you want to see more content like this on a regular basis, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the chime icon, and you'll be notified of future video releases. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.